right side. And the divider is clip on. It's underneath here. There's a little lever, and they just slide on and off and lock into place. There's a shield on the back. A little quarter turn. Pop right off. A little catch at the bottom. Pull them on there. Drive shaft for the center belt. You can see the stainless plate in here. Adjustment for the center deck. Get the cylinders. And the pins are just like the old ones. Just for rigid and transport and then for flex. Then the cylinders for the flex, the covers on these just pop right off. Shaft of the weight. Just pop on and off. Right off. You can see the cylinders, they just got little ball sockets. And the upper one is the same, just pops off. These have just quarter turn slot head take off, so it's a lot easier on these now. We'll take them off and look. You got the cycle drive. In the shaft. Sensors. Storage. Spare sickle. And then like this pops off here. Got some hoses and wiring in there. There's a the real drive. Gearbox here for the drive shaft. The tensioner for the drive belt and the wrench. Then you have the electric adjustment for the belt speed. And there's the drive for the center drive, or the auger drive, I mean, I'm sorry. Then you have the pressure gauge. The flex and the header and the tilt. Then here's the gearbox. Here's the gearbox and belt for the center belt. Then you have the actuator on this side for the right belt. And then here's the right side without any shoots on it. And then of course the reel. This is a 30 foot head.
You have the chain drive for the reel. And the ends are way different, way heavier than the old heads. Beefed them up a lot more. This one has a Schumacher sickle. And the adjusters are the same. The center belt, just like the 9250s, 55s. There's a stainless intake plate in the back behind it. 